Checklists. They're not just for astronauts and surgeons anymore. If you're a dealership working in the heavy equipment, trailer, or commercial trucking industries, checklists can make your life dramatically easier as well. Enter the Deal Jacket Checklist. Howdy friends, I'm Ken Lane, your friendly neighborhood communications manager over at My Little Salesman, where buyers and sellers of heavy equipment, trucks, and trailers have been finding each other since 1958. In this quick video and corresponding article, we're going to cover what is a deal jacket checklist? Why a deal jacket checklist is such an important tool for sales representatives just like you? What steps you might want to include in your deal jacket checklists? And how to set up and begin using digital deal jacket checklists in your My Little Salesman dealer management system to make your life so much easier. So let's get started. Firstly, what is a deal jacket checklist? Deal jacket checklists have been used by sales professionals, mostly in the automotive industry, for generations. Almost always in paper form, deal jackets have been usually templated checklists used to make sure that all actions and details of a sales transaction have been completed or have been accounted for. Why is a deal jacket checklist such an important tool for sales representatives? Whether you're a sales professional or you've spent time in the buyer's seat, you have a pretty good idea of just how much information, how many forms, how many steps are necessary to complete a transaction. Keeping track of all the necessary steps can feel like shopping for a week's worth of groceries without a list. There are so many items that need to be accounted for. Deal Jacket Checklists provide sales professionals with a transactional blueprint that is half roadmap and half success gauge for any transaction. What steps might be included in a typical deal jacket checklist. Presently, there are several paper deal jacket manufacturers that sell templated deal jackets designed specifically for the automotive industry. These deal jackets contain checkbox fields for items to be accounted for, such as the bill of sale, title odometer, certification, contract signatures, power of attorney, buyer's guide documents, and the like. While many of these may still apply to deal jacket checklists for the heavy equipment and commercial trucking and trailer industries, the ability for every dealership to customize their own deal jacket checklists is extremely useful. For example, you might need a space that denotes that equipment hour meter readings or equipment shipping to a buyer's location have been accounted for. Simply put, if there is any item or action that needs to be accounted for, associated with a transaction, it's in your best interest to include these in your deal jacket checklist. Let's hop into the fun stuff. How can I begin using deal jacket checklist today in my My Little Salesman dealer management system? Digital deal jacket checklist. So let's start defining and building your deal jacket checklists. So logged into your My Little Salesman dealer management system, head over to your sales desk settings. You can easily find this by finding the sales desk tab menu and clicking or tapping that to access the sub menu and selecting settings. Looking down the page a little ways, you'll find dealer settings. Under that, you'll see view and manage deal jacket checklists. Go ahead and click the manage button. Welcome to your Deal Jacket Checklist settings page. From here, you can create and edit various Deal Jacket Checklist templates. Originally, much like their paper predecessors, this was where you could edit your single Deal Jacket Checklist. However, after receiving feedback from dealers just like you, they requested the ability to create and customize several different Deal Jacket Checklists depending on the type of transaction. For instance, different deal-related tasks may be necessary for out-of-state buyers versus in-state buyers. If you're less familiar with the deal section of the My Little Salesman sales desk, we have already created a walkthrough tutorial to help familiarize you with how your deal system works, which you can find linked in this video description and associated article. So how can we create a new deal jacket checklist? 
From that Deal Jacket checklist page, there will be a red button labeled plus new Deal Jacket. Select that to be taken to an Add Deal Jacket checklist page. From this page, as the name denotes, you can create a new Deal Jacket checklist. This is very simply where you enter the name of the Deal Jacket checklist, possibly a short description or instructions for use, where it is active, and you can hit Create to create that one or create and add another to create multiple Deal Jacket checklists at a time. Once you have created a Deal Jacket checklist, you've really only named a new blank Deal Jacket checklist. To add or edit items on this checklist, make sure you're on the Deal Jacket checklist page, that previous page that we accessed through the settings section of the sales desk. From here, you will see all of the Deal Jacket checklists that you have created or a default Deal Jacket, an auto-generated Deal Jacket. You'll see here that my company has edited the default deal jacket to our in-state deal jacket, and we've created an out-of-state deal jacket. It looks like Curtis made that one. So how do you add items to check off of your deal jacket checklist? Very easily. Simply locate the Actions button with the down arrow caret, select it, and you should see two options, Edit and Edit Items. Edit will essentially take you back to a page much like the Add a New Deal Jacket for this item, allowing you to edit information about this Deal Jacket checklist, such as name, description, and active flag status. Edit Items, on the other hand, will allow you to update the items you will be later checking off the list. Let's see what this looks like. I'm going to select Edit Items on this Deal Jacket checklist we previously created entitled in-state deal jacket. Opening this up, you'll see several line items that will be available to be checked off once we connect this checklist with a deal, such as power of attorney, arranged shipping, and the like. Adding a new line item is very simple and much like creating a new deal jacket checklist. Simply select the plus new line item button which will take you to a place where you can add new details about this checkable item, such as name, description of the item, whether it is required, and its active status. When you have filled in the necessary information, select Create, and you're ready to roll. When the Required option is selected, this means that this line item, when checked off, will count towards the jacket completion percentage listing for an associated deal. I know that probably sounded like a lot of gobbledygook, so let's see what this looks like in action. Okay, so we've made the option for power of attorney required on this deal jacket checklist. Let's see what this means when associated with a deal that is using this particular deal jacket checklist. This time I'm going to navigate to my deals panel in sales desk by selecting my account in the upper right hand corner, finding sales desk menu and selecting deals. Once on my deals page, I have a deal that has been associated with my in-state deal jacket checklist. You'll notice that one of the columns is labeled jacket completion. Below that, you'll see a completion bar, very similar to a download status bar or something like that. This metric is the percentage of required items checked off of my in-state deal jacket checklist. This jacket completion view is one of my favorite aspects of the deal jacket checklist functionality. No matter how many deals I have lined up here, I can see at a glance which ones require attention. It looks like this particular deal is only 60% complete according to the line items in my in-state deal jacket checklist. Let's see what steps still require attention. If I select the jacket completion percentage bar, the line items appear. Looking at this, it appears that I haven't uploaded all of the necessary documents into the dealer management system and I haven't asked him for a review. Now for the sake of demonstration, let's say that I actually have uploaded these documents and I email Jason to ask how easy this transaction was for him so he can sing the praises of my dealership online in the form of a review. Well, I can simply check these boxes off and even make some notes on these items for the record. Let's say I want to document that I emailed Jason today at 9 o'clock 
and provided him with the instructions on how to leave a review. I can just type that in here. Once I have all that information entered, I select Save Changes and Bob's Your Uncle. Check out that jacket completion status. 100%. This tells me that I have met all of my criteria for an in-state transaction. You can also see the most recent status of these line items in the summary of a particular deal. When you open your deals page, all deals will be automatically associated with a default deal jacket checklist. If you plan on making the most of the deal jacket checklist functionality, you'll want to assign the most appropriate deal jacket checklist for that particular deal. And doing this is pretty simple in the settings panel of the associated deal. As we've covered in our deals tutorial, every deal has a settings panel. If I select the edit button with this deal, I can access and update all information associated with this deal using the tile-like buttons that run along the top. If I select the button entitled Settings, this will take me to a settings panel where I can select which of the various deal jacket checklists to associate with this deal. Once you've made any changes to the settings, make sure to scroll down to the bottom to Save Changes. Just a heads up about changing a deal jacket's checklist. If you change a deal's associated deal jacket checklist in the settings panel after the fact, let's say, for example, I change this to an out of state deal jacket checklist, that change will overwrite any checked boxes or notes from a previous checklist for this particular deal. Even if you switch back, all checked line items and notes will be cleared out. For this reason, it's important to select the proper deal jacket checklist when filling in all of the sections of a deal. If you don't feel that a particular deal jacket fits a transaction, it may be time to create a new one, which you know how to do now. And it's just that simple. Now you can see how easy it is to create and use deal jacket checklists to stay on top of every deal in your My Little Salesman dealer management system. If you have any questions, you can visit MyLittleSalesman.com for help. My name is Ken, and I wish you the best of luck with your dealer jacket checklists. Use deal jacket mm. and use deal jacket check and use deal jacket checklist. Deal jacket chimp. What? Now you can see how easy it deal jacket. Now you can see how easy it is. Whoa. Use deal jacket check check. My name is Ken and I hope you the best of luck the best of luck. Wow, I'm struggling.